In this video, I'm going to show you all the tips and tricks to successfully screw pieces of wood together for your projects. Hey guys, welcome back to David's DIY Reviews. On this channel, we do a lot of quick kind of woodworking tool how-to videos like this. We do project builds, DIY builds, and tool reviews. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for a lot more great content. Today we're going to be showing you just how to screw wood together properly, the best ways to do it, the best tips and tricks. Let's get into it. So one of the first things you're going to want to think about is the length of screw you're going to be using to screw two pieces of wood together. You want to make sure that the screw isn't going to stick past the end of the second piece of wood you're screwing to or whatever it is you're screwing into. So like this screw here would be a little bit too long. You probably want to go with you know, something that almost goes through your second piece, but not quite. And that's going to give a lot of good bite to hold them together. The next thing to think about is the screw itself. If you're, you know, screwing like a thicker piece of wood like this into another piece, you're going to want a screw that has a decent sized collar on the top or the shank. That's the part that doesn't have any threads on it. So that when you screw into the second piece, it allows to bite into the second piece, but it's not just spinning the threads in the first. If you have threads all the way top, sometimes what that causes is the pieces to spread apart. You might have run into this in the past. As you screw in, it will separate the pieces. Having a collar on the top like this that's blank, that'll allow it to tighten right up tight. And if you've run into the situation where when you screw two pieces together and they separate, another way to prevent that is to drill a pilot hole in the first piece. And to do that, you just get a drill bit where the drill bit size is the same as the shank of the screw. So the diameter of the drill is the same as the smooth part of the drill. And then you drill into the first piece and I'll show you how to do that now. So all we would do is just drill a pilot hole through the first piece like this. Line it up with your second piece and then drill through into it and that's gonna help keep it nice and tight. So you could just kind of quickly deburr your first piece that you screwed. Grab your bit. And you'll notice now when you screw it together that uh, it goes together nice and snug. So you start to separate, but then it tightens right up. And that brings me to my next point. As I screwed this in, it didn't split the end, but it just, just barely started to split right there. And I'll show you a, a really handy trick to prevent that from happening. If you're going to be screwing right near the end of a piece of wood or like a hardwood like this, this is maple, and you're worried about it splitting, what you can do is drill a hole, not the size of the shank, but you could drill a through hole that's the entire size of the threads or even slightly bigger than the threads of the screw. That way the screw will go clear through the first piece and just tighten up on the second one. So once again, we would just go ahead and drill the first piece, kind of offset it a little bit so you don't drill into your second one. And you could drill all the way through, and this is maple, so it's a little tougher to drill. Drill a, a clear hole all the way through. And then your screw isn't going to crack the end of this at all. And what you may have saw just brings me to the next point. You may have noticed that as I was drilling that screw in, the bit slipped a little. You'll definitely be worth getting yourself a really good bit. And if you're ever drilling into something and the, the screw head starts to strip, you definitely want to remove that screw right away and use a new one because what will end up happening sometimes is the head of that screw will strip and strip and just as you almost get it all the way in, it'll strip at the point where you can't turn it anymore and then you'll be stuck with a screw stuck in your wood. If you're in Canada, you're gonna see a lot of Robertson screws like this, a lot of Robertson head screws. Uh, this is a, a bigger black Robertson. These are the red Robertsons. In the States, you're gonna see a lot of uh, Phillips and Torx and even flat head sometimes. Um, other places in the world, you're gonna see a lot of Robertson, a lot of Torx. Definitely, you don't really wanna go with Phillips. They're gonna tend to strip out a lot. Another handy trick, if you wanted to screw, let's say this two by four into that two by four, you don't really have any way to go about it. You'd wanna kinda put the screws in on an angle like this. An easy way to do that is you can just 
take your drill bit and your drill and you can screw or I should say drill you just start drilling in a little bit like this pull your drill bit out and then you can kind of go on an angle like this drill through and that's going to allow your screw when you screw it in to go right into the piece of wood I'll show you what I mean so once you've got that hole drilled deeper it a little bit grab your screw get it started in here and then as you can see that's going to allow this screw to go right into that 2 by 4 like that you can do two of them side by side and that makes a really strong joint once again for a finished piece you could countersink this hole and then it would be really flush and it would look just perfect and if you wanted, you could pre-drill, you know, every hole and it, it's always going to work perfect. For, for just 2 by 4s or something like this, don't be afraid just to go ahead and drive your screws right in right off the bat. Just make sure you're pressing down really hard. Kind of go slow to start. You can slow the whole way. And that's going to ensure that the screw goes in really well and really tight. If you happen to be screwing something together like this, just pay attention to when you screw in that you're not to one side or the other because that's going to cause this to split out. You're definitely going to want to make sure that your screw is right centered in the middle so that way when you screw it in, it doesn't split this out either way. So you just would line it up nice and good like that and screw it in. Just like that. And if any situation you find that when you put a screw in, it tightens up and then it starts to get loose. That means it's stripped out in the bottom piece. You're gonna to wanna to remove that and move your screw over and get a fresh bite in a different spot. Otherwise your pieces aren't gonna to stay together. And for a really, really tight, solid, you know, permanent connection, definitely think about gluing and screwing together. And that's gonna be, you know, kind of the ultimate joint that you're ever gonna have. And when you begin to screw wood together rather than just nailing or, you know, other forms of you know, attaching wood together. Screwing really kind of raises the horizons of what you can build, what you can do with your DIY woodworking. Definitely think about getting into screwing and gluing things together. You can do a lot of really good structural builds and whatnot. And if you're just getting into woodworking and you're kind of looking for some how-to videos on different tools, check out this playlist I've made. It's a lot of really great videos on, you know, woodworking hand tools, DIY hand tools. It's gonna to be really helpful for all your builds. And just like always, guys, videos twice a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, David's DIY Reviews. See you in the next video.